Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available. So if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. Well guys, the wait is over. The Thriller 40 documentary release date has been confirmed and it will and it will premiere on December 2nd. According to Billboard, Usher, Mary J. Blythe, Will I Am, Mark Ronson, Missy Copeland, Maxwell, and Thriller video director John Landis and many more are all interviewed for Thriller 40, which includes never never before seen footage behind the making of the greatest selling album ever. Released on November 30th, 1982. Driller has spawned seven top 10 singles on the Billboard Hot 100, including two number ones, Beat It and Billie Jean. In addition to winning eight Grammy Awards, the album has, has been RIAA certified at, 30, at 34 times platinum and amassed more than 100 million in sales worldwide. The, doc, the documentary directed by Nelson George will debut on December 2nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Showtime and will stream on Paramount Plus in the U.S. for Paramount Plus with Showtime subscribers. Ironically, December 2nd of this year marks 40 years since the iconic Driller music video premiered on, in 1983. The film will also make, make its international debut the same day on Paramount Plus in the UK, Australia, Canada, Italy, France, Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Latin America, South Korea, and on MTV internationally in, um, except for China and Japan. The, um, the, tra the trailer navigates the, navigates the album's production process, the music videos, the moonwalk, which, which Jackson debuted at, in 1983's Motown 25 special, and the eventual world domination of the project and its musical mastermind. Keep, keep in mind that this is the third Michael Jackson documentary surrounding the, the history and the making of his album. The first one was Bad 25, premiering on 2012 and Journey from Motown to Off the Wall in, in 2016, both directed by Spike Lee. Here is the trailer for the Thriller 40 documentary. There are two things in the music business, before Thriller and after Thriller. Thriller set the standard of what it was to be a megastar. Michael had such a clear vision of what he wanted. He was determined to change the way he was perceived. I came in angry. He was a perfectionist. I wanted the best. I look in the mirror and I'd say the biggest selling album of all time. The greatest singers do what the music tells them to do. Everybody waiting to see the next big Michael Jackson album. As a matter of fact, I asked what mama say, mama saw, mama ku mm -hmm. meant. Or it don't mean nothing, just sing it. He had the ambition to become the biggest star in the world, and he did it. You could feel the excitement in the room, knowing that we were doing something special. There was a sense of culture. It felt like he's rocking with us. We can dance to his music. He saw value in street culture. Popping, locking. No one had ever put those elements together. Nobody's seen the moonwalk coming. He just laid a bomb on that room. Jean stepping on the pavement. It was about making the magic. Like a musical damn near. He wanted to go out and tour for a Thriller, but Joseph Jackson had other ideas. It's the ultimate blueprint to modern pop music. It was probably everything that I ever loved in one. Michael's gone from being a pop star to a phenomenon. If Thriller came out today, it would still be the greatest album ever made. Now, I for one am excited for the documentary as this has been highly anticipated for over a year. I've briefly discuss discussed the documentary several times on the channel, as well as re-uploading the leaked rare footage from the documentary. And you best believe I will be re-uploading clips from the, from the documentary, so I so I am highly excited for it. Also, also I know also I know I'm going off topic, but I just found out that that Michael wore a red shirt under his thriller jacket all this time. All this time I thought I thought it was a black shirt, but nope, it was a red shirt. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you if you will be watching the thriller forty. 
the Thriller 40 documentary when it premieres. Um, I apologize for the slow uploading schedule. I've been preoccupied with college, with college life, and and um stuff like that. Um, I'll be sure I'll be sure to keep you guys updated on my community posts. Be sure to subscribe if you're new and ring the bell icon so you won't so you won't miss my latest videos. Until next time, thanks for watching.